Hi kids, welcome to Dixie Storytime World, a Twinkle original, starry-eyed Stan. Have you ever heard a starfish sing? I'm not sure if they can. Apart from one young boastful chap, a star whose name was Stan. One day he got up on the stage with fans all gathered round. And as he sang, they cheered and swooned. Oh, what a gorgeous sound! But the smell of all the creatures who'd assembled in one spot attracted quite a nasty crab whose name was Lancelot. Mmm, he said, what have we here? A feast of fish galore. I'll eat my fill and then come back to munch on even more. Now, when the fish saw Lancelot, they all began to flee. But starfish find that tricky, so they tend to freeze, you see. Young Stan still hadn't noticed that his audience was gone. He was caught up in the moment, so continued singing on. Then Lancelot approached him with a hungry-looking grin, but stopped and started shouting, Oh, goodness me, what's that din? The tune was just too lovely for a grouchy crab to bear. You did it! All the starfish cried. You saved us with your flair. Please teach us all to sing as well. We need a new defence. But Stan just laughed. You'll never learn. My talent's too immense. The next day, Stan was singing to an audience of eels when his show was interrupted by some not-too-distant squeals. Then suddenly there came a noise, a click and then a clack, and everybody knew that grumpy Lancelot was back. Stan stood strong and faced him as he sang with all his might, but Lancelot looked different and seemed far less full of fright. Just as Stan had lost all hope, he heard a little yelp. It was Jay, the tiny starfish, who just knew she had to help. Jay could hear her voice was wobbling as she struggled with the song, and she knew for it to work, she'd need more friends to sing along. So she hunted high and low, behind the rocks and in the cave, and she begged the other starfish to join in and to be brave. Then, one by one, each starfish stood until they formed a crowd, and the song began to grow as each one bellowed loud and proud. Vibrations moved the water and soon rocked the ocean bed, and the sound waves blew the ear defenders off the big crab's head. The crab just couldn't stand the noise, and so he ran away. Then the singing turned to cheers of, Yes, we did it! Oh, hooray! Stan stood humbly on the stage to thank his tiny friend and all the other starfish who had helped him in the end. He promised to make up for all the selfishness he'd shown, as he knew that he could not defeat old Lancelot alone. He told them all to meet him in the morning by the stage, and to bring along their friends of any species, size or age, for Stan had formed a plan to keep the nasty crab away. With some music and some teamwork, and the best friends in the bay. The end. Thank you for listening. Always remember to be good, polite and kind. I'll see you soon in another adventure. Thanks for watching and listening. Enjoy more stories at Dixie Storytime World on YouTube. We're also available on the Kids YouTube app.